All right, I'm going to show you how to do Flight Simulator in Google Earth. I have the software downloaded on the computers, and that's the way that you can uh, do Flight Simulator. If you go online, uh, that version of Google Earth doesn't let you do it. So that yeah, kind of looks like this. It's on the desktop. Go to the bottom and search it in the search bar here. So here's Google Earth. <clears throat> um, I want to zoom in to Blanding. So I'm going to go to the top left, click in the search bar, type Blanding, Utah, search. It's going to zoom in. The airport is south of Blanding. So I'm going to left click and hold that in the left click and that lets me pan. So I'm going to pan down until I get to this turn heading out of town. And the airport is right there by that turn. Now you want to zoom in by scrolling and get as close as you can to the beginning of the runway. If you click in the scroll wheel and hold it, it lets you orbit and kind of get lined up a little better. Don't get too close though, because once you get to ground level, it doesn't let you enter the flight simulator. So that's about right. I'm going to go up to the top left to tools and say enter flight simulator. And you want to pick the slower plane, the SR-22, it's for beginners. <clears throat> okay, on the right you have your elevation from sea level. So that's what this is. On the left here, in your instruments, this is the speed in miles per hour. Down the bottom left, this left bar is your throttle. Right now the little arrow shows that it's there's no throttle. All the way up is throttled up. Uh, these horizontal ones have to do with your steering. So, to take off, uh, before you take off, when you're to, when you're on the ground to steer, you use your brakes. So left of your shift key on your keyboard, there is a period and a comma, also little arrows, and those are your brakes. So the period is your right brake, the comma is your left brake. Um, to take off you're going to want your flaps down. So you hit the F key. And what the F key does is it drops those flaps. Uh, you can see it says flaps 60%, 80%, 100%. We want it 100%. Those flaps uh, give us a greater angle of attack and uh, lift us up quicker. So I have my flaps at 100%. I'm going to put my mouse in the middle of my screen and click. See how it turns into a little cross? And then I'm going to use a page up key for my throttle. So if you look in the bottom left, when I hit page up, start throttling up. So my left hand is on the comma and period to steer. My right hand is on the page up and page down. So I'm going to hold in page up till I'm throttled all the way up. And I'm just going to try to keep my plane in the center of the runway. And I'm going to use my um, arrow keys here in a second, but for right now I'm just using my period and comma to steer. And the plane will take off on its own. If you just let it go for a little while, you'll notice that speed's increasing on the left. 90, 95, and once I'm up in the air, I'm going to use my arrow keys. The key to not crashing is to just tap your arrow keys. Don't hold them in, just tap them. And it's inverted, so up is down, down is up. A little confusing at first. So once you're uh, up in the air, your flaps will actually start to generate drag and hold you back. So if you notice on the left, my throttle, my um, speed is not really increasing, and I want to go faster. So I'm going to drop my flaps down so that we're a little more aerodynamic. So I'm going to hold um, Shift and F. And that gets rid of my flaps. And you'll notice the nose will drop. See how it just dropped? And that's normal, uh, especially if you drop your flaps really, or lift up your flaps really quick. But you just kind of correct yourself. And now we're, we can really get moving. If you look at my uh, speed, it's increasing. We're up to almost 130 already. So you can fly around landing, fly around the mountains, uh, just go where you want uh, to look around. You can hold Alt and then push the arrow keys. And you'll notice that you can look around, but once you look away from your instruments, they disappear. 
So I'm going to go back, look at my instruments. If you're holding control and the arrow keys, you can look around quickly. Okay. So you can look left, right, up, down. Um, so that's how you can look around. Okay, after you've flown around for a little while, I want you to make a circle and go back to the airport. For demonstration purposes and for time, I'm not going to land at the airport. I'm just going to pick a spot over here. Landing's kind of hard. I might not get this right. It might take you a couple tries. Um, what you want to do is you want to drop your flaps. So you hit the F key. And I'm just going to drop them about 40%. And then I'm going to start throttling down. So page down. All the while, I'm trying to steer. Okay, my throttle's about halfway. I'm going to decrease my flaps a little bit more, holding Shift and F till my, oh, sorry, by just pushing F. So now my flaps are at 100%. They're all the way down. My throttle's about halfway. I'm going to go ahead and drop my throttle. even more till my throttle is all the way down. Once it's all the way down, you're going to drop pretty quickly. You notice my speed on the left, I'm down to almost 110 miles an hour and decreasing. You want to keep it nice and level, nothing too drastic. Uh, get your hands on the period and comma. Uh, just hover over them, get ready to use them. They're going to be your brakes. So I touch down. Now I'm holding in my period and comma to break. And you notice 50, 40, 30, 20, uh, all the way down to zero. And that's it. That's how you use Flight Simulator. Um, try it out and have fun with it.